It's icebreaker, baby. We're finally back to sprint car racing in central Pennsylvania. They're rolling off hot laps right now, so we're gonna try not to get run over. But we're gonna walk down, look at all the cars for 2023 here in central Pennsylvania and introduce you to some of these cars and what they look like this year. So they're doing hot laps, but we're gonna start things off down here with what's on the track, or well, what's off the track, and then we'll move through what's on the track as well. So we're starting on this end, the Eichelberger Racing Team's on this side, Brandon Raymer's right beside him, so that's the 5E this year. Travis Esch owns that car. Brandon did not win any races last year with his first season in that car, but damn, it looks good. Empty trailers. Beside here, we've got the Stuart Smith Racing number 27S. This is Alan Crimes' car. Alan usually runs his own car here, so this might be new this year. Rolling back behind us uh, up here is Greg Plank's number 11P. This is the first year Troy Wagaman's gonna be in that car though. And he's getting rolled off to be in the second hot lap session of the night. We'll follow him over here. A couple more empty trailers. That number 69 over there, that's Tim Gladfelter. It was last year. It was the year before that. It, it's usually that car. Cam Smith came out of the 358 from that stable. He's now racing in one of the cars that's a little bit further down the line. And we've got the 2023 number 48 of Danny Dietrich, track champion at Williams Grove last year. This year he's pulling the blue back out. I say that car looks pretty good. Kyle Booty's spot is absent. He's out on the track right now, but this is Matt Campbell's number 16. Last year he drove for Rutherford Racing. This year he's back in his own car as that team moved strictly to 358s. Following him in this number eight, this is, looks like a good old throwback machine if you ask any of us. This is Billy Dietrich's car. Last year he hurt himself at a point in the season. He stopped racing for a little while. He has a YouTube channel. Rolling back here is Trey Hivner in his own number seven. Trey Hivner follows me on Instagram, not a flex, I'm just saying. We'll go along the side here. Something's going on. Not a Central Pennsylvania car, but this is Justin Peck's number 13 for Buke Motorsports. He'll be running with the All-Star Circuit of Champions this year. We got some Ohio blood out here with us. This is Tyler Street's number four star, usually running weekly over in the Buckeye State, but he's here for the icebreaker. Slick Rick, Slick Rick Lafferty here in the zero car. Standing literally right in front of us. How about that? And if you pan over behind me, so we've got that number 11P again. You can see Michael Millard smoking in the background. Here's Cole Young in the 17. Last year, his brother Nicky drove for Greg Plank. The guy who won all the money last year, Brent Marks, over in the 19 car. And then here's the Eichelberger number eight, Freddie Raymer. We passed his trailer at the very start. He was not there, but that's why. So he's right here. We'll back it up. Anthony Macri is going to get a roll off right behind that number 39 up there. Tim Gladfelter's leaving the track to the track right now. And Anthony Macri right up front here. A couple more cars on the track that are coming off the track right now include Michael Millard, Kyle Moody, Devin Borden. There it is. It's the posse. It's uh, racing season finally again. And I couldn't say that I would be any more happy to be anywhere else than right here at Lincoln Speedway.